G'day. My name's Nathan Linzel, and welcome to episode number 39 of The Fine Art of Destruction. So, on today's episode, I'm actually so excited about this one because I actually got a little letter from uh, Fluid Art Co. Here it is here, and it basically says... Please enjoy this sample of a new TLP colour that is in production and being released soon. So, there's more of, a, more of the letter there, but how exciting is that? I actually get to try one of um, this little piggy's new colours that hasn't been released yet. So, I'm super stoked to try this one out. So, let's have a look what colour it is. Oh, honeycomb, and I love honeycomb. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> you, that's so cool. Oh, yeah, I can. I actually. I, Holding it up to the light, because I can see it through, through the little gap. It's got a nice shimmer to it, so yeah! <laughs> I'm so excited to play with this, you! So yeah, so this is actually one of um, this little piggy's new colour that's in production, which is called Honeycomb. And the funny thing was, I was actually planning on doing a swipe today, so um, <laughs> so I'm going to add this one into it. You, <laughs> This is so cool! Billy and Shelly from Fluid Art Co, thank you so, so, so much for sending me this. And ev everyone else at Fluid Art Co, that's so cool. I'm so excited. You. <laughs> Alrighty, so before I actually tell you what I'm going to be doing today, well, I sort of already... Gave the sort of um, secret away when I was doing a swipe. But before I actually go into it too much further, I have to show you the dry result of last week because it turned out wicked cool! How awesome is this? So I'm not too sure if like you're getting like too much glare from, from the light, but Look at the sparkle on this thing! That is insane! <laughs> I am super stoked with how this turned out. As I said, I'm not too sure where the light reflection is because I can't see what's on the screen, but like... So I'll just keep sort of moving it sort of left to right so you can actually see um, all the glitter. But how awesome is it? And I'm actually shocked that it's so smooth. I was actually expecting it to feel almost like sandpaper, but this is actually really smooth. And I actually put that down to the actual um, Shelly Art recipe that I used. And oh, wow. <laughs> I am so happy with this. Yeah. Now, I was actually planning to do another glitter um, pour today. Because after seeing how awesome this actually turned out, I actually did order some really, really, really cool glitters, but they haven't arrived yet. So um, I've decided just to do um, like a, a big swipe. I'm going to use my big um, swipe tool. I'm actually going to use this big bad boy here. It's like the size of my hand. <laughs> Yeah, and um, I'm going to do like a, a, a multi-level um, swipe. Like, so basically I'm, I'm, I'm planning on doing like three lines and seeing how that works. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Um, now that I've um, told you what I'm going to be doing and I showed you how 
awesome this thing looks. <laughs> you. Let's head over to the table. I'll show you what products I'm going to be using. And then, yeah, let's get going. Thanks, guys. Alrighty then, so here's all the products we're going to be using today, and as you can see, we've got a plethora <laughs> of products. But let me break it down for you a little bit so it doesn't seem so daunting. So up the top here, we've actually got all of our pouring mediums and base coats, and down the front we've got all our colours that we're going to be working with. Over on this side, I'm actually using a product that I've never used before, which is called Boom Gel, and the colours that I'm actually using are Pearlescent Baby Blue, Pearlescent Watermelon and Pearlescent Teal. Over on this side, we're using a product called Liquitex Basics and the colours that I'm using are Dioxazine Purple, Copper and Gold. Now the Copper and the Gold, they're both metallic colours and the Dioxazine Purple is just a standard colour. In the middle just here, we've actually got a product from uh, this little piggy, otherwise known as TLP and we're using Lilypad Submarine, Grenache, Constellations, and Echavira. And also in the middle here, as I mentioned before, the brand new, or one of the brand new colors from um, this little piggy called Honeycomb. And I am absolutely honored that I actually get to use this as a prototype sort of thing, um, as this particular color, Honeycomb, is part of the new range of colors that's coming out from this little piggy. And um, it's not yet available, but it will be very soon. So everyone at Fluid Art Co, thank you so much for allowing me to try this product out before it actually hits the market. So, you <laughs> Now, the pigments here and also the Liquitex Basics have actually been mixed using the Shelly Art Recipe, which um, is Torben's Easy Coat. Doors and Trims Interior in Neutral, and also Joe Sonia Gloss Varnish. So the Liquitex Basics, that's actually been mixed at a ratio of three to one. So that's three parts Torben's Easy Coat to one part Joe Sonia Gloss Varnish. So three to one. The This little piggy pigments, they're actually mixed at a ratio of four to one. So that's four parts Torben's Easy Coat to one part Joe Sonia Gloss Varnish. And the Boom Gel is actually um, already mixed, ready to go. So I actually don't need to use any pouring medium or anything like that. It's it's mixed, ready to go. So I can actually pour it straight out of the, the bottle um, and it, it'll actually sort of have the same sort of consistency and sort of flow as when I actually mix these um, colors up with the Shelly Art recipe. Um, unfortunately, the Torben's Easy Coat um, interior doors and trims in neutral for Australia, it's actually been discontinued. So I'm actually extremely lucky enough to actually still have a full four liter tin of um, Torben's Easy Coat. Um, Shelly is actually in the process of coming up with a new recipe and um, myself plus all the other Australian artists are hanging, <laughs> hanging on our um, wits end for her to sort of come up with this recipe because she's been t talking about it and she's um, she's almost there, so to speak. So we're really excited to see what she comes up with. And and, and Shelley, myself and the rest of Australia, thank you so much for taking the time um, and trying to figure out... Um, the new pouring medium because this one's been discontinued. So you rock. You <laughs> in the center just here, this will be um, used for my cell activator. And basically the cell activator is Amsterdam oxide black and also Aussie flow troll. And that has been mixed at a ratio of four to one. So that's four parts Aussie flow troll to one part Amsterdam oxide black. Okay. Over here, we've actually got some British Paints Four Seasons Defense Exterior in Low Sheen, and the color is black. Um, I personally like to use black as a base coat and also a cell activator. I just feel that the colors pop a lot more um, when it's on a black surface rather than a white surface. A lot of the other artists worldwide use white, but personally, I actually like to use black. 
Um, we've got our blowtorch just over here. Um, we've also got a skewer just here to, um, in case when I um, try to get rid of the bubbles with the blowtorch, in case I can't get rid of them all. I've got the a skewer here, um, but I also will be using this skewer to do a little bit of um, enhancing, sort of slash manipulating with the actual um, paintwork itself. And over here, this is my swipe tool, my massive swipe tool. <laughs> it's, it's the same size as my hand. So this is what I'm going to be swiping with. I've actually used this to swipe with um, once before um, on the um, Halloween collaboration that I was on. So if you want to go back and watch me use that for the very first time, um, it's the um, the Halloween collaboration that I was in. So um, it actually works really, really well as a swipe tool. And if you're wondering what it actually is, it's actually a little mini pizza um, serving palette knife sort of thing <laughs> and yeah when I, when I saw it I'm like oh I want to use that as a swiping tool <laughs> alrighty guys now that I've um, showed you what products I'm going to be using um, let me sort of mix up some colors and then we'll head over to the spinner and yeah we'll get going thanks guys Alrighty then, so I've got all our paints and pigments mixed up and ready to rock and roll and as you can see here the boom gels I've left in the bottles because you literally don't need to mix them with any pouring medium. You can literally pour it straight out of the out of the bottle. So I'm really excited to give these ones a go. And once again, Mitch from Rain and Pause, thank you so much for gifting these to me. You rock. You. <laughs> Alrighty, and this one just here in the middle is the brand new honeycomb color from this little piggy. And wow, what a delicious color. Check out that. Now, I'm a massive fan of honeycomb, so I I literally just want to drink this. <laughs> if only it tasted like honeycomb and not paint. <laughs> but oh, wow, that... There's no other word to describe it except for delicious. That is... Scrum delicious. You. Yum. Alrighty, guys. So, as you can see there, I've mixed up all the colours. So, I'll clear off this. I'll um, coat the um, the canvas in in black. And then I'll put a, um, a small pillow over the top. And then I'll get ready to swipe. So, yeah. Let's get going. Thanks, guys.
you'll notice that I've got the base coat down first and then I've actually put three long um, pillow um, paints down. Um, basically because I'm actually going to be doing three lines of colours and then I'm going to be doing some sort of manipulation sort of enhancing to sort of join them in the middle. So um, yeah, wish me luck and yeah, here we go guys. try to make this a little bit separated so I just want to put like a line of, of black down there but what I'm actually thinking I might use the the um the black um willy wagtail from boom to actually do a, a black stripe down the middle rather than more of the house paint So because that one wasn't in the um, the products listing, um, it's it's the Boom Gel, and it's actually um, black, which is uh, Willy Wagtail, which is actually an Australian bird for anyone that wants to know what a Willy Wagtail is. <laughs> Alrighty, so we got our our swipe tool now. <laughs>
want to do the center one first. fresh um, palette knife. And as you can see here, the cells are actually starting to sort of form really nicely. tilt off a little bit, let, let some of that excess off, because as you can see there's quite a bit on there still. The thing with cell activator, you don't want the cell activator to actually take over the colours, you just want it to sort of um, enhance the colours basically. So we're cleaned off now. Let's go for a, a third layer of cell activator. It's hard to angle this thing so you can actually see what's going on. <laughs> And I actually can't see the camera because the camera is actually up much higher. It almost looks like a face there. <laughs> Do 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 do
Okay, so we're gonna use the skewer now to do some manipulations of some um, of the paint, but I actually want to use the the thicker end rather than the pointy end. that you do make sure you wipe off um, your skewer or whatever you're using to sort of do the, the manipulations
guys, what do you reckon so far? You! <laughs> Alrighty, so now it's time to spin off. Now, I'm totally okay with it if this bit here spins off. And also that bit there spins off. I don't mind at all because I'm actually not really a fan of negative space. Um, but I just did it in case um, there was a bit of negative space. And I thought, hey, I'll, I'll give it some sort of character to it. So, um, yeah, I'm sort of mainly sort of hoping that sort of just sort of that sort of section gets kept. So let's see how we go. Let's give it a good spin. We'll start off slow. This is so cool. Wow. I've got to get you down for a close-up. This is wicked! Wow! Check out the sides as well! That is so cool. That looks wicked cool. And it's funny that I said that I don't like negative space, which I, I really don't like negative space, but I'm okay with it being there because it's actually on the opposite corner as well. And I don't really want to tilt it because I, I actually really love how that kept the straight line in the middle. Guys, I'm super happy with how this turned out. Yeah! All right, now we just need to pop it up on some cups. Guys, I am super happy with how this turned out! Yeah! Now we 
just have to uh, wipe our bottom. We don't want a dirty bum. But also, the main reason why we, we wipe the bottom of the canvas is so the paint actually stops pulling. Because if you leave it drip, what's actually going to happen is the paint will continually sort of pull across and then you'll end up ruining um, the composition. And I actually want to leave all of this um, paint on the silicon mat because I actually want to save that as a skin because I think they're wicked cool. Look at these hands! Yee you know I've done something good when my hands look like that! Yee Guys, what do you reckon of this? I am super stoked! Yee-hoo! Alrighty guys, I just want to take this opportunity to thank you all so, so, so much for joining me on this episode. I am super stoked with how this thing turned out. Yee-hoo! Yes! Ah! This is so cool! If you guys like what you saw here today and you, f and you think I'm deserving of your like, please give us a thumbs up. I'd love to see so many likes for this one because I'll tell you what, I am super happy with how this turned out. Yeah! <laughs> this down the bottom is so cool. Ha <laughs> ha! You! And if, you th if you're not yet subscribed and you feel like subscribing to my channel, Hit the subscribe button, then hit the little dark bell. That'll indicate when I actually upload new videos. I try to upload a new video every week, so you'll get a notification at least once a week. And if you think any of your friends or family might like to see how I created this, please forward it on to them and say, hey, check out what this crazy dude did again. <laughs> All right, guys, one more time. Thank you so, so, so much for joining me on this episode. Boy, did I have a lot of fun doing this. And this is the fine art of distraction.